hi it's Malcolm and Sabrina here with a review video and we're going to be talking about Charm Castle by Sebastian de Castel this is book three in the Spurslinger series and we're doing it together because we read it together he read it to me at bedtime and I stood awake I read the whole thing after it twice maybe yeah. even three times yeah okay I, I stayed away for most of it <laughs> okay so the Spurslinger series follows a young failed mage called Kellen, Kellen yep. And a squirrel cat business partner called Righteous. Thank you. Um, as they basically try and keep away from Callan's people from hunting him down because he has this terrible thing called the Shadow Black, which is pretty evil yeah. Yeah. to them. Manifests as a sort of a tattoo effect around his eye, and uh, it's a bad thing as far as they, his people are concerned. So yeah, so they want him dead, and he's effectively on the run. Yep. And now, in the previous book, he has teamed up with... So I'll go see by the name of Ferris. Who is basically teaching him how to survive, and how to be better? Go, going, going with the flow. Yeah. Um, and if, if she were a Jedi, she'd be going, going with the Force, but um, there's no, nothing yeah. like that she, here. She but. goes on the path. Oh, yeah, the path of the wild daisy. That's it. Um, so anyway, it's the third book in the series, and I think this is kind of like at a point in the series where things are kind of coming a little bit to the head. You know, war is certainly on the horizon. Yeah. Kellen's reached a crossroads. Um, you know, Ferris is coming to a point where she's going to have to make a decision. You know, does she stay on the path of the wild daisy or do a new path? Exactly. And so I think this book really sort of finishes the first three i think you could count it as the first three as a yeah. trilogy as yeah. you were and then the next lot is obviously going to be the next part of the journey we presume we presume and um, because of the crossroads that callan's is faced with and by the end of this everybody has moved on a little bit they're all on now their own paths as it were yeah and there's some new characters we've jo who's joined we're not going to spoil anything because there are a couple of spoilers here um but yeah it's um he's come a long way in the year or so since he's gone on, yeah. on the lamb. He, he's not the naive, terrified failure of a mage that he's been at the very no. start. He's certainly grown he's a, up. Yes, he's a slightly less naive, terrified, failed mage now. Yeah, who's he's got a lot going on with his eyes. <laughs> There's a lot, <laughs> lot of eye stuff in this one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's big, big on the eyes. Yeah, um, but no, I think, you know, character-wise, everybody's developing nicely. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel that everybody has an arc. I adore Righteous. I love him so much, and I really shouldn't because he's not nice. He, he's a little git. He is a little git, but I absolutely love him. He's like your favourite cat that you never know if they're going to attack you or curl up and purr on you. He really is one of those yeah. kind of guys. Or steal all your belongings while you're asleep. Exactly. We all know you can't trust cats. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd say that as a cat lover. Now, so, we also enjoy the sass. There's a lot of um, wit and um, witty banter. Yeah, there's a lot of banter. And it's all good, clean banter as well, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say this is particularly gory. This one is actually quite a clean one, isn't it? Uh, I think if you have an issue with eyes. Yeah, maybe the eye thing. Yeah, um, that, there's nothing crazy with it. but No, yeah. we're not doing ER kind of eye surgery or anything, but certainly there are... Per, plenty of allusions to eye yeah, stuff. There's a lot of eyes going on. Um, but yeah, and like I say, there's there's a lot more sort of politics between the different peoples of mm. this world happening. And I think we're getting to know a lot more about everybody else. Obviously, we know about the Argosi through Ferris. Yeah, we know Kellen's people, Kellen's people who are really horrible. They are foul. I mean, you really learn how foul his people are and why he's left them really, because. They don't seem to have a redeeming feature in their culture whatsoever. No. Well, they left, he left them because they were going to kill him. But well, there is that little detail, that, but, but you know, they're reason. just not. They're not nice people no. at all, and I'm certainly on Callan's side that yeah, they they need sorting out. They're a bit British Empire. God, aren't they? Yeah, they're perfect. Yeah, that is totally sums them up. They they really are. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We like the spray edges. Oh yeah, spray edges. <laughs> totally, totally. Which is why, you know, our copy of Spurslinger doesn't have spell, um, sprayed edges. And that really, really ticks me off. Yeah, we ordered it specially because it had sprayed edges on the photo in Amazon. And it turned up, open the box and... Oh, it's There's just... no sprayed edges, so... <sighs> don't buy it off Amazon if you want sprayed edges, don't you? So we might have to try and paint the edges ourselves. That won't be disastrous at all. Well, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but, yeah. but no. Yeah, but I'd rate a buy it. Uh, four stars in other people's language. Yeah, I certainly love it, and you know, 
if you've got the first two you might as well finish it off with this one and if you wanted to stop there you could you you don't desperately have the need to carry on because like i say this ends at a point where everybody is going on their paths um so you know it is kind of like a clean this is the end of the first part yeah. But there are at least two or three more. I mean, he's still turning them out, isn't he? One, two, there's three more. There's another three. I don't know if he's going to do more after that. I don't that, know. But, uh... but as far as I'm aware, there are three more. So you like another trilogy, um, which I'm sure will focus a lot more on Callan and... Righteous. The... Righteous. And where do they go next? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. There we go. So, Charmcaster, have you read it? Thoughts down below. Try and keep it spoiler-free. I know it's the third one in the series, but, you know, try and keep it spoiler-free for people. I know it's been out for a while as well, but, again, mm. some of us are only just getting to these books, you know. So many out there. So much to read, yeah. I know. Mm. And do you get books purely because it's got sprayed edges on it? Oh, yeah. Are you, are you a sprayed edge person? So, ask us below, please. But, as usual, if you have nothing nice to say, then please keep it to yourself. Thank you. And until next time, see you later. Bye.